Stratford-upon-Avon, a small and historic Elizabethan market town on the River Avon in Warwickshire, enjoys worldwide fame as the birthplace of William Shakespeare. Welcome to Watchzilla, today we are going to explore the gorgeous medieval town in the heartland of England, Stratford-upon-Avon. The town center dates extensively from the 16th and 17th centuries, surrounded by areas of greenery and charming sections of riverbank, as well as the historic Stratford-upon-Avon Canal. Many attractive rows of half-timbered houses have been preserved, including Shakespeare's home, where visitors can still follow in the footsteps of the world's most famous playwright. The town is internationally famous as a research center and stage for Shakespeare's works, as well as for the five wonderfully preserved homes as associated with him. This culturally blessed setting has repeatedly been used as a backdrop in literature, and today the town lives primarily by the marketing of its most famous son. There are plenty of things to do here too, including participating in fun festivals such as the famous Mop Fair, held in the town center since the 15th century, as well as enjoying the many great places to eat and shop. Number 13. Stratford Town Ghost Walk. This is an award-winning ghost walk along the haunted streets of Stratford-upon-Avon. Expect some good old-fashioned storytelling as you discover buildings full of tales of ghosts, witches, murder, and misery. Each guide is a professional actor or entertainer, so you're guaranteed a unique evening discovering Stratford's supernatural stories of murder and misery. It runs on Saturday evenings and is suitable for families with children aged 8 and above. Not a fan of things that go bump in the night? Never fear. There's also a town walk that runs every day of the year and covers medieval life with touch of Shakespeare. Number 12. Tudor World. Tudor World is the kind of museum that brings the past back to life. Well, the 16th century at least. This is a small independent museum set in an original Tudor property. Another one of the best things to do in Stratford-upon-Avon, if you're a history buff, this cozy museum has a heap of exhibitions relating to all things Tudor. It doesn't have artifacts or period furniture, but instead recreates different areas of the everyday trials and life of people back in the day, interweaved with stories of Stratford's history. Don't forget to try your hand in the stocks too. Number 11. Stratford Armories. Located on the outskirts of Stratford-upon-Avon, the Stratford Armories boasts a broad range of historic arms and armor on display. This is a museum, vintage tea room, an antique center, but it's the play barn that families love the most. Set on the former RAF Snitterfield site, there's a mixture of exhibitions in the four galleries including one on Winston Churchill and another featuring the tail section of a Wellington bomber. The museum's large collection was assembled over a period of some 250 years by the Widgington family, once one of the country's best-known weaponry manufacturers. Highlights include a fully armored Indian elephant and one of the world's oldest cannons dating from 1450. Also of interest is a giant crossbow based upon original designs made by Leonardo da Vinci and a collection of artifacts related to Winston Churchill. Number 10. Shakespeare's New Place. Bought by Shakespeare in 1597 and where he died in 1616. It's also where he wrote later works such as The Tempest. The house was demolished in 1759, but the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust has transformed New Place into a major new heritage landmark where visitors can discover the story of the world-famous playwright. You can explore the traditional knot garden with its many fine sculptures and displays, as well as hands-on activities and tutor games. Number 9. 
River Avon. While away a sunny afternoon, by hiring a boat on the river. Venturing along the canal basin and Avon River is easily one of the best things to do in Stratford-upon-Avon on a nice sunny day. Avon Boating, established in 1898, offer rowing boats, self-drive motorboats, punts, and canoes from late March to late October. You can explore more than three miles of the river and enjoy a picnic under the willows. With the world-famous Royal Shakespeare Theater and main shopping areas close by, you'll find lots of little cafes, cute restaurants, and beautiful gardens for a stroll. Number 8. Hull's Croft. One of Stratford-upon-Avon's most attractive Tudor houses, Hull's Croft is the stunning Jacobean home of Dr. John Hull, who married Shakespeare's eldest daughter, Susanna. It's a spot you can't miss, especially for the beautiful garden with the medicinal herbs which Susanna's husband used in his remedies. It's an interesting place with lots of exhibits that's totally lovely, especially on a sunny day. Visitors can explore the home's luxurious rooms while examining the fascinating collection of apothecary equipment and books in the doctor's consulting room, along with the first edition of his medical notes published in 1657. Afterwards, enjoy the beautiful cafe. There's also a gift shop specializing in local handmade arts and crafts. Plus, you can easily visit Hull's Croft at the same time as visiting the Holy Trinity Church, they're a short stroll from each other. Number 7. Mary Arden's Farm. Mary Arden was Shakespeare's mum, and her farm still stands to this day. It is possible to experience the sights, smells and sounds of a Tudor farm, whilst exploring the house where Shakespeare's mother Mary Arden grew up, and almost feels like you're stepping back in time when you visit. Explore the centuries-old barns and original Dovacat, watch geese herding and falconry displays, visit rare breed animals, and try out the nature trails and adventure playground. There's also a gift shop and cafe. Another Shakespearean gem, strolling the farm has quickly become one of the best things to do in Stratford-upon-Avon that you can't miss. Oh, and remember, if you are visiting all of Shakespeare's homes, be sure to buy their consolidated ticket that's cheaper than buying each individually. Number 6. Holy Trinity Church. Being the town's oldest building, the Holy Trinity is a must-see if you're something of a history buff. If you've spent a trip following Shakespeare's life, then this humbling graveside is a fitting end. This pretty parish church was the place Shakespeare was baptized, married Anne Hathaway, and buried. You can visit the final resting place of Shakespeare, his wife and other close relatives who lie at the foot of the chancel steps. Rumor has it grave robbers may have stolen his skull, although respecting his wishes, the grave has never been dug up to confirm. Afterwards, head over to Loxley's for their delicious wines and seasonal menus that are too good to miss. Just make sure to book a table in advance, especially on weekends. Number 5. Mad Museum. It's not often that science and technology marry so well with art and design, but this is a place where the left hand and right hand sides of the brand get to work together. Described as a mixture of Wallace and Gromit, Heath Robinson and Scrap Heap Challenge, this museum offers the whole family a chance to experience and interact with machines. Run by a local family, kids and by kids alike will enjoy the treasure trove of warring gizmos on display. MAD stands for mechanical art and design sourced from artists and inventors all around the world. The interactive sculptures, or kinetic art, include marble runs, high-tech robots, 3D faces and flying mechanical birds. It's said to be the only specialist attraction of its kinds in the UK and features a wacky gift shop.
Number 4. Stratford Butterfly Farm. Just a few minutes walk from the old city center and a fun break from its many Shakespeare-themed attractions, Stratford Butterfly Farm consists of several tropical greenhouses with countless free-flying butterflies. It's billed as the UK's largest butterfly tropical paradise which is an ideal rainy day activity. Wander through exotic plants and gurgling waterfalls, while hundreds of free-flying butterflies flutter around you. Other highlights include exotic birds, as well as the fascinating caterpillar room, with its butterfly breeding programs. Get up close to appreciate these dainty insects and learn about their life cycle from caterpillar to chrysalis and beyond. For those into the less attractive members of the insect world, other insects on display include mini beast metropolis of centipedes, beetles, stick insects, praying mantis, and giant millipedes. There are also a variety of spider species to view, including tarantulas, black widows, and the massive goliath bird eater, the world's largest arachnid. Shiver. A nature-inspired gift shop is located on the premises too. Number 3. Anne Hathaway's Cottage. Perched within the countryside, just outside the center of the town, visiting Anne Hathaway's cottage is easily one of the best things to do in Stratford-upon-Avon if you're loving your Shakespearean history. This thatched farmhouse was the childhood home of Shakespeare's wife and features beautiful gardens. It's in Shottery, around a mile from Stratford-upon-Avon. Follow a well-signed posted footpath to reach it by foot from the town center. With stunning gardens and grounds to explore, you can easily spend a few hours moseying around all the rooms and learn more about her life. Though, watch your head, those medieval ceilings are low, and you'll be in for a bump. People must have been significantly shorter in the past. There are also woodland walks, a sculpture trail and a family activity tent that runs from April to October. You can also pop into traditional afternoon tea in the garden cafe. Number 2. Shakespeare's Birthplace. Shakespeare's Birthplace is a lovely two-story half-timbered complex. Its interior remains unaltered and reflects the residential lifestyle of a lower middle-class family in the second half of the 16th century. The rooms have been carefully arranged with period furniture, one of them housing the first folio edition of his works. Look for the window on which many illustrious visitors have scratched their names, including Charles Dickens, Thomas Hardy, and John Keats. Admission includes the fascinating Shakespeare's Treasures exhibition, with its rotating displays of memorabilia. Shakespeare allowed a chance to watch his plays being brought to life by a troupe of professional actors, and a look at the Glover's workshop, with its displays of tools relating to the bard's earlier profession as a glove maker. Adjoining Shakespeare's birthplace is the Shakespeare Center, headquarters of the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust, with its library and study rooms. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. Royal Shakespeare Theatre. Stratford-upon-Avon is best known for its legendary playwright William Shakespeare, who opened classics Life Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Midsummer Night's Dream, and The Tempest. So, a trip wouldn't be complete without a visit to the world-famous Royal Shakespeare Company which performs throughout the year at its Stratford Riverside home. And, if you don't want to take in a show, why not go on a tour, see the views from the tower, take a selfie in front of the iconic Riverside building, or have a lunch in the rooftop restaurant. There are generally lots of children's activities too, especially in the school holidays, when you'll find craft workshops, music sessions, pop-up performances and costume exhibitions, most of which are free. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watchzilla and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.